what are you finding on the DNA side with, with breast implants? The thing that most impressed me to have you on the show now is, is the fact that you're doing brain scans of people. And, uh, okay, brain, brain scans with breast implant illness. Oh, look, you are having changes. And then you're also doing the genetic testing. You're using the DNA company, which is, uh, which is also really, really cool because, guys, Cash has been on um, and other members of the team, uh, like Dr. Mansoor, uh, I think four or five times on the show because they're doing such cutting-edge DNA work. And to find that here we have a top expert in breast implant illness who's going to the DNA company. And yes, guys, I, I should uh, disclose, I'm an investor and an advisor in the company. I had no idea you were doing that until I sat down in your office. So what are you finding on the DNA side with, with breast implants? Because I think this is interesting. But the biggest puzzle piece has been functional genomics from Dr. Uh, Mansour's group. And Kashif has been great. And um, I now have over 200 uh, genetic reports on patients with breast implant illness. But if you listen to and recognize the patterns of poor functioning genetic pathways coupled with environmental exposures, they can the, the story just writes it right in front of you. So